Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at healthier choices management, taking some more HCMC. So they have released a new catalyst in their first healthy choice wellness center licensing agreement. So here they talk about obviously what they wanna get into the health and wellness segment. And they have pretty much been doing this with this new health center. And they talk about other things that I really wanna look at firstly. I wanna talk about why, again, their business is something that this is a service that our customer have wanted for quite a while and we have been looking for the right companies to work with, which could show that this potentially could be a good business venture for them to go to. We're going to talk about how that's going to affect healthier choices management in the future, but really just looking at this. Well, they're also going to be looking at Islands International, ticket symbol ILUS, and Cyberlux Corp, ticket symbol CYBL both with great opportunities coming up and we definitely should be looking out for in the future. As always guys, show support for these stocks by smashing that like button down below. It really helps out, spreads to the whole community. And if you wanna make sure you never miss out a video, click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. None of this is financial advice. Do take well off the grain of salt, make sure you do only do diligence and research. And without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So it's quite exciting that while it, whilst it has obviously took a month and a bit, we are in February, but we have seen our first piece of news for healthier choices management. And so the whole article is here, you guys can obviously find it on the healthier choices management website, but they opened up a new location, which is in uh, located in uh, Florida, a full service spa and salon that has been in business for over 23 years. So this is a place that has traffic. So they've opened a business in a place that is receiving traffic. I think that is the first good sign. Now, obviously I don't know too much about this. If someone is uh, you know, well expertise in this particular area. Do leave a comment down below. I am curious to get your whole thoughts on this whole segment, you know, what something HMC should be looking into. But the fact, you know, with the standard business, if you are able to get a business in an area that has traffic, that's obviously a good sign already. They include treatment such as um, from scrubs, exfoliation, mud soaks, and seaweed wraps, full array of massages. Again, these are just kind of the um, treatments. And they talk about the New York location, which is the first thing we have talked about, where they talk about the drip cocktails for clients to choose from. These cocktails are designed to help boost immunity, fight fatigue, stress, reduce inflammation, enhance weight loss, and efficiently deliver antioxidants and anti-aging mixes. And so again, you know, this is what they want to do, and this is what they have been focusing on. The fact that they got this licensing agreement really shows right now what HCMC's focus is for this year, or at least the start of this year. You know, we have talked about when we want to see how your choices management really dive into that whole vaping segment because there is a lot of room for growth but it clearly shows that right now they are advancing into this not to say that they are not obviously doing anything with the vaping industry but it shows a clear kind of signal that they want to focus a lot on this maybe they see a massive opportunity maybe they have the right kind of pathway connections the right plan business structures or whatnot to get into this but Nevertheless, it's better than just seeing one thing now that we are actually seeing, you know, things that are following up with this. So this is good. And then they pretty much talk about, again, like I said, CEO said, had to say this, we're thrilled to work with, um, with an establishment like Cash Bar, a stable in the community for over 23 years with an impeccable reputation for high quality wellness and beauty services. So they are partnering up with a company that's already well known for this. So it's good that they're not trying to do this as kind of themselves. They are branding with another company that's already successful. Maybe, you know, if they were to do just to be like HCMC, we are someone that offers health and wellness. Maybe that might not get a lot of attraction, but they're doing this with a company that's in this community for over 23 years. So again, I think the way they're approaching this is extremely smart. And it does show that, that they seem to have a plan in mind. Obviously, at the end of the day, their company is down to them to decide. So we can't really say that this is a bad venture. So we really have to see what's, you know, to what's more to look for for this. After lengthy strategic discussions with the ownership and management at Casbah, we're convinced that the addition of Healthy Wellness Center will be a perfect fit and service providers will be enthusiastically embraced by the existing client base, showing that they already have and will probably and most likely be able to get revenue because they have a client base who are already inclined to, you know, things that are like this are open to um, up for new experiences or whatnot. And so again, this is very good. I think that, like I said, guys, I'm really pinning down on the fact that we have to just understand right now, healthier choices management is obviously focusing a lot on this whole health and wellness segment area. 
and maybe not as much in the vaping industry. Like I said, it's not to say that they're not focusing on the vaping industry. And so we obviously have to understand what they're doing and with what they're doing, they are doing and what seems to be a good job of it of the fact that they are not trying to start from the ground. They're not starting to try and start new. I think it's good that maybe they are spending a tiny bit more money, but that is at the end of the day, what the money is for with your capital, you are meant to make, you know, best decisions for your company. And they are pretty much advancing their businesses with businesses that are already doing well, which is kind of like a merge in a way. So this is something that is exciting to see. And now they then say, uh, anticipating Valentine's Day launch of the health choice wellness center at Cash Bar, plans for a pre-launch event for existing Cash Bar customers already in the works. Again, they're really trying to tape into an audience that is already there. So I think that is extremely good. And then the owner of the Cash Bar had this to say, we're so excited to be bringing IV therapy and additional wellness treatment and products into our spa under the Healthy Choice Wellness Center brand. This is a service that our customers have wanted for quite a while and we've been looking for the right company to work with in order to maintain our high quality standards. And to me, that's what really had me kind of excited for this article is pretty much this line over here. Now, it's good that, you know, they've said that it will be enthusiastically embraced by their existing client base. It's good that they are making a business with another business that's already doing well, but the fact that owner themselves said that they have wanted this for quite a while means that this is in demand but not only a demand for just people like this it just means that in this industry there is at least right now at least maybe whether it's niche or broad there is a demand for iv therapy there is a demand for what healthier choices management are trying to get into and so the fact that you know their customers reflecting that they have wanted for quite a while reflects that maybe potentially there are other customers in other you know, um, of the same industry also wants this. And so again, this really excites me, the fact that there is people in demand for this, there is, um, and then there will be a supply for it and it will be healthier choices management. So I think that's quite exciting. And then they're also here to maintain our high quality standards. And so I'm assuming a company that's in here for 23 years, obviously is key on their quality and their standards, like they say here, their high quality standards. You know, some of the companies that have lasted three out of the ages are because of their best qualities you know maybe some are with different business structures but if we look to the like of apple you know they are here because of their quality and so the fact that healthy interest management are able to get a merge with them means that they have obviously passed their quality checks and again that is quite a positive news to be looking at it just shows that obviously healthy choices management knows what they're doing and so again very exciting to see and they concluded with a corporate owned location in New York and our first licensing agreement in our own backyard. We are very excited, extremely excited at the prospect of our future locations, utilizing both models as previously commented upon regarding our growth plans. So again, you know, now it's not just a random talk that they said. We have already seen them advancing into what they have talked about in the growth plans, obviously with this whole wealth um, wellness centers licensing agreement. Very exciting. Um, and again, like they're heading here, they're going to be doing more. And I'm really curious in terms of, firstly, we'll be seeing a bit of the revenue um, coming in from their first whole acquisition with the March earnings report. Again, 25th of March, hopefully it comes out exactly on that day. But then, you know, now we know we have to see the Q1 report and we can see how well these things are going to do. All very exciting, all very big thing. This is exactly what we want to see for healthier choices management. Again, if you're in for short term, we could be seeing some big short term um, catalyst coming up again on the earnings. But if you are in for the long term, pretty much just wait on this whole thing because if they're going to open up more and more locations, they're obviously going to increase their revenue. And definitely, if they're a company right now at this area with a quarterly revenue of 3.5 million, you can imagine what the company will be worth when they're doing five, six, seven, eight, ten million, etc., etc. All very exciting to see. Now, let's quickly talk about Iris and let's quickly talk about CYBL. For Eyeless, again, we are seeing another red day today, minus 12%. This is extremely normal. A lot of people are panicking right now. But again, we have took so much short-term profit. And this is why I emphasize on people taking short-term pro profits. I get a lot of people always arguing with me, and I'm not here, obviously here to argue. But I think it's important to take short-term profits. Eyeless is a great company, not to bash on the company. It's a great company. But why would you give up a chance you know, not everyone who's invested into Eyeless is watching my videos. Only a proportion out of the, you know, maybe potentially hundreds of thousands of stockholders or even 50,000 shareholders, only around 
I say 300 to a thousand people really watch this video and why would you then give up the opportunity to be taking this profit from 0.2227 to the 50 MA, which is an over 60% swing trade. This was huge. And if you were able to get out, you're obviously able to then get back in Islas at a lower area. And again, this is why I think it's huge. Not to say to sell all your shares, again, none of this is financial advice, but I do think it's important that you do take profits throughout the way. To, in order to prevent you know moments like this where it's actually damaging portfolio if you were taking profits in all of the trades we have talked about whilst your position would maybe at here you're still being in a lot of profit from your swing trade from eyeless and again right now this is something you know we are just being, seeing people being scared right now and we are below the 200 ma i do think that this is again just bouncing in between 0 0.2227 to 0 0.1856 again extremely normal to see extremely normal to be looking at we have talked about this multiple times times and you know it's just something that it's going to be happening right now we are going to see more money being coming in into the market um and when that does happen that will obviously be the run again right now there is no more catalyst for islands and there's no more catalyst in the short term for cybr as well obviously the ones that have already come out we have already mentioned cybr breaking below that 0 0.0125 now cybr is a stock right now again if you manage to take your profits, you won't be in a loss right now. You know, we have talked about many swing trades over here, 70% over here, over 46%. And, you know, multiple times, if you want to take many swing trades, like here, where it's 15%, all okay, all, you know, just um, trades that you should have definitely been looking at. But right now, we're looking at this area. Again, this is something that we would be expecting. I talked about how we saw a lot of sellers with this particular bar with the price action. Below was 0 0.0125, nothing to you know, bad to be looking at. Right now for CYBL, there's looking at to be no short-term opportunities in terms of long positions. Obviously there are short positions that you could take, but if you want to average down your shares for the long-term, make sure you do your own due diligence. CYBL is another company that I think in the long-term will also do well. It's just understanding maybe at what price would reflect their true value right now, at least to the investors, to the general public. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.